In the last video, um, I talked about how to quickly create a project and outline the chapters. In this video, we're going to import a blog posts, and there's uh, two ways that you can import, actually three ways you can import blog posts. Once you've created your project, you're going to go down to the import blog posts link, and you can either enter your blog URL, like a blogger URL or a WordPress URL, or you can upload an XML file which was exported from Blogger or WordPress. The way that we're going to do it here is we're going to actually enter in a uh, URL for a blog that I created um, when I went on a Baja surf trip with my brother a few years ago. And what our system will do is it'll actually go to the blog and it will check to see if there's an RSS feed. If there's an RSS feed available, um, typically the RSS feed that's available publicly through a blog is limited to the first or the last 10 um, articles and sometimes it only has a summary. Um, you can import that information if that's the way that your blog is set up and that's what you want or if you want to get directly from the blog you can actually enter in your um, your username and password for the blog system whether that's blogger or WordPress um, our system will actually log in and it will capture all of the blog entries that you have available within a time period. So I have 16 entries in here. I'm not going to import all of them, so I'm going to uncheck that, but I'm going to pull in three or four just so that you can see um, how that works. And um, if I didn't want to bring the images in, if I just wanted to have the text, I could check this box. But I'm going to bring in the images as well so I can show you kind of how our system handles images. I'm going to hit import and um, Fast Pencil will actually log in and it will uh, grab all of the blogs and it'll put them into the table of contents area so that you can manage them just like they were standard uh, chapters in your book. You can move them around, you can reorder them, you can edit them just like you would if you were going to clean up your manuscript and get it ready for publishing. One of the cool things about our system is when it actually imports the blog posts it will look at the image tags that come through. If the image is actually a link, some blogs will put a thumbnail image up for the, uh, the post and then behind the thumbnail they'll have the high-res image. Our system will actually go in and grab the high-res image and import that in as well so that you have a higher-res image to work with rather than the thumbnail that's typically at the front of the blog. So here you can see um, the last four chapters that were imported are from my blog and let's just put a title here. Um, blog posts and let's bring that up here to the top and then we'll put these inside of here just to kind of stay a little more organized and maybe have uh, uh, you know have this uh, information uh, in an easier way for people to understand when they read it um, and as a matter of fact maybe we won't call it blog posts maybe I'll actually just change that name let me change that real quick to um, uh, my Baja surf trip we'll save that Okay, so if I go in now and I look at Kite Surfing San Carlos, you'll see that all the content was brought in, and it's nice and clean, and also the image was, uh, was brought in. And this image here is a low-res uh, image for placement only, but I could click on this if I wanted to, and I could move that. Let's say I don't want it at the bottom, but I actually want to put it up at the top above my content. And let's say that I actually don't want it to just be a real big image, but I want it to float left or right. That means that I want text to wrap around it. I'm going to float this, um, and uh, I'm going to have the text wrap to the left of the image. Okay, And I'll just save and close that. And then when the um, EPUB and the book is produced, the image will actually be resized. It will be moved over to the right, and the text will actually flow around the image. In the editor, you don't see that because the text is actually here just for editing for placement. But um, once we do the preview, you'll see how this works. Um, and then I can go back to my um, my table of contents. I can see any of the uh, blog posts. And like I said, this is a very nice, easy way to go in and, and edit and uh, clean up your blog posts and get them ready for publishing and uh, and have all of the images in there ready for you to use. So that's how you import a blog or blog posts 
into your project to get them ready for um, publishing. In the next video, we will talk about collaboration and how you actually work with others on your project.